Now, a little bit about mixing low temp and high temp, which we talked about earlier. If we're going to mix radiant heat in here, let's see how we could do that several ways. Or actually, one, one way that's used very commonly. This is done with a, with a three-way mixing valve. We see these all the time. This is the primary load over here. It's got the compression tank here. The secondary circulator is using this connection and the common piping as its compression tank. So we're pumping away from that. So the radiant load is going around here. It's continuous circulation, moving around and around and around. And we're going to vary the temperature with this mixing valve. There's the primary load. So this is 180 degree boiler water going around here. Now we've got a three-way mixing valve. This is the hot port, the relatively cold port, and the mixed port over here. And then we've got a flow control valve to stop migrating hot water from entering this flow. So now this is the challenge with this using a mixing valve. The flow is going this way, the hot water comes up, the cold water comes down. The return water has a choice of either going back to the radiant, mixing with hot water to keep the temperature up, or going completely back into the primary flow if the radiant load is satisfied on temperature. So it's continuous circulation and we're varying the temperature. The problem though is the compression tank is located on the primary circuit. And when this, when this mixing valve is satisfied and goes to full bypass, this port, the hot port, is going to close. And all flow to it is going to stop. At this point, this circulator is isolated from the compression tank. It can't get at this T that it uses as its compression tank. So the pressure will drop off the suction side of the circulator and it will begin to cavitate. So you can wreck the circulator on your radiant load by using a three-way mixing valve as you see it piped here. So the way we get around that is rather than use a three-way mixing valve, we're going to use a diverter valve. So this is a three-way mixing valve. It has two ways in, hot, hot, cold, mixed, and one way out. Two ways in, one way out. This is a diverter valve, which has one way in and two ways out. And by using this, which looks the same on the outside, but works a little different internally, we're able to move the diverter valve over here. So your continuous radiant circuit is going around that way, your primary is going around that way, but now look, this is the flow. I reversed this check valve. So now when the diverter valve moves its, moves its position, the hot water will come here. And by doing this, when this port closes, I still have access, pressure-wise, to the compression tank. So this will not cavitate. It would cavitate with a three-way mixing valve, but it will not cavitate with a three-way diverter valve. So these are a pretty good way to do radiant heat.